We've got another crypto gaming ecosystem launching and today we're going to give you guys all of those details because they have a current node sale running. No, this is not a promotional video, but I want to share with you guys this project because it is the first one that is building a gaming ecosystem on Polygon's aggregation layer. We're going to get into the details. There's a lot of people saying Polygon is dead. Is it really dead? We're going to take a look at everything you need to know about this you know new project and its future and exactly what they are trying to build so the project we're taking a look at today is brand new like i said they've been in the fundraising rounds for the better part of the last year we're going to get into the valuation because i do believe before you even think of getting into a new project you have to look at valuation because if the valuation makes no sense there's absolutely no point of getting into a project but moonvale in short what it is it's an l2 they are using the polygon cdk or chain development kit building a zero knowledge layer two on top of the aggregation layer that polygon is building itself now if you're unfamiliar with a polygon aggregation layer i've done several videos you know a few months ago on a polygon their polygon 2.0 the whole roadmap and what was happening there basically the aggregation layer what it has as a goal it wants to unify liquidity across sovereign chains so they are basically trying to make it you know a unified liquidity spot so that all cdks all you know chains can interact within one unified liquidity which would obviously make more sense you know of course we can have liquidity in one spot users interacting within different chains but all the back end being stored at the same spot making it a whole lot easier for users to interact with different chains so moonville is the first gaming ecosystem that is going to be built on polygons cdk polygon labs actually invested two million dollars into moonville during the fundraising round so of course they are heavily invested in this project and we're going to get into more of who is, you know, invested in this project and at what valuations they are. So first and foremost, you need to know about this node sale because this is ongoing. The whitelist sale actually started on October 22nd. If you were in our VIP Discord, you would have had access to this. We've kind of been talking about Moonville for the better part of the last month. So you would have had this on your radar. And if you're not in the VIP Discord and you want to get access to these projects, get the best bang for your buck. You know, get into these projects early on. We'll have a look at the link in the description below. And if you just want to, you know, join a community of like-minded people, talk about different crypto projects. We also have a completely free Discord that link is as well in the description but what we need to know here is that moonvale is of course selling nodes this is one of the ways that they get the public involved in the project early on they do use those funds to continue building out the ecosystem and they have you know three different games that they are building at the time currently so the first game that is being built is called Astrark, and this is an immersive tower defense game you have a pvp as well as a pve battles all in co-op multiplayer experiences and this is you know a game that was actually in alpha testing back in august of 2024 so just a few months ago and over 80,000 players did try this game now of course this is still in development they had their alpha test but of course in the months to come they are going to continue building out this game and hopefully bring it into a beta before it even launches so it's still under development but that is game number one within this ecosystem now moving on to game number two it's called bushwhack and this is a battle royale type of game so you can play this on a mobile and you're essentially competing against other players there's about eight to ten players and you're fighting until there's one person left who obviously wins the game now the alpha test isn't out just yet for this one it is supposed to be out later in 2024 so that is game number two and then they have these mini games which they call they have a few different mini games they have mini 2048 i'm sure all of you played 2048 on their phones 
They also are coming out with a few different games. They have Puffy Miner, which is coming out later, as well as Rocket to the Moon. And you can obviously play those games on your mobile device. So they are catering to, you know, some of the more, you know, desktop based gamers as well as mobile gamers. So now that we know a bit more about Moonvale, we know that it's a L2 zero knowledge utilizing the Ag layer. We also know the games that they are developing. They've had a lot of interest during the first game's playtest. So, you know, if we talk about the node sale and just how, what these nodes are doing, well, they're essentially powering up this L2 and, of course, helping the project with an initial raise to continue funding their expansion of this ecosystem. So the token in itself, if we look at tokenomics, we have 1 billion more tokens and if we take a look at just how many tokens are allocated to these nodes, well, we have 20% of the total supply or 200 million tokens that are allocated for nodes. We have a total of 50,000 nodes. Of course, I'm not thinking that all of these nodes are going to be sold out. And they are saying that there's basically going to be 4,000 more per node. Now, something very interesting here that is completely different than other node sale is their vesting schedule because you're going to get 25% of your tokens if you decide to buy a node, of course, on the token generation event. So you're basically getting a quarter of your tokens and then the rest are going to vest over three years. But typically, you know, when you buy nodes, you're looking at a longer term investment because you do get rewards on, you know, a daily monthly basis, but it's over a very long period of time. And here, I guess they are trying to, you know, make people whole a little faster. But I also would imagine that, you know, with 25% TGE unlock, there is likely going to be some sell pressure when the token generation event happens. And I'm not exactly sure just when that TG is going to happen. It is likely going to be towards the end of Q4. Now, taking a look at hardware requirements, very, very low hardware requirements. You know, if you're into nodes, you know that four gigs of RAM, two CPU cords and 60 gigs of disk space is definitely not a whole lot. We have, you know, been into so many different node sales. We've had, you know, Miria, Zay, Carve, Ether. Uh, I'm missing probably a bunch of them, but there's just been so many node sales and I'm running so many of them. So these requirements are definitely not strenuous. You probably find a VPS at five bucks a month, if that, to run these nodes. So next stop is what is the price of these nodes? You know, what am I buying here? If we take a look at the different tiers and prices, well, of course, the sooner you get in, the better price that you get. So we actually had a whitelist available for tier three, and we do have a 10% discount code. The code is selected. There is going to be a link in the description below. If, if you are looking to buy one of these nodes, you can use that code, save yourself 10%. I do get a commission from that. So obviously supporting the channel if you are using that code. If you want to use your friend's code, that's totally fine as well. But if we take a look at the different FDVs or fully diluted market caps here, tier one, we're looking at 69 million tier two, we're looking at 74 million. So, you know, the sooner you get in, the better fully diluted market cap you get. And it's still not a crazy fully diluted market cap. If we take a look at, let's say, tier 12, which I'm assuming most of you can get in way before tier 12, you're still looking at a, you know, reasonable amount. It's $160 million fully diluted. I don't think we're going to get there. Hypothetically speaking, if we get, you know, a $100 million valuation, I think it's still a reasonable valuation for a launch of a token. We've seen, you know, tokens launch at billions and billions of dollars of valuation. Those, because they are so high in valuation, you know, it, the token price just goes down. It makes absolutely no sense. But here with these nodes, I still think that this fully diluted market cap is still decent. It could obviously be lower. The lower it is, the more potential you have to make some money but still at 100 million or even, you know, 120 million. Or if you get in around these lower tiers, around three, four, you know, sub 100 is still a decent value. Now, something to note, just like any other node project, you don't get the actual token itself. You get the vested token and then it has to vest over a certain time. 
for it to be converted into the actual token that you can then sell in the open market. So in this case, you are going to be earning a VE more. And then depending on how long you want to be vesting it for, if you vest it for seven days or a week, it's going to cost you four VE more for one more. If you do it for 90 days, you're going to get a one to one conversion. So of course, they have to do this just for the longevity of the project. If you know you would get exactly more right now, people could just sell it right away in the open market and the project would never really have a chance to lift off. So if we take a look at the valuation here, I always look at crypto rank for new projects. I want to see where, you know, the VCs got in, what valuation they have, because oftentimes they get the better prices and you need to understand that because if the valuation makes no sense, there's absolutely no point of investing in a project. So if we go and scroll down on what is happening here, we have the seed round, which was completed over a year ago or just about a year ago. They raised 5.4 million with these funds here. Then the Series A was in August of 2024. So just a few months ago, we have the likes of Spartan Group, Hashkey, and Mocha. They raised 3.6 million. And then, like I said, Polygon Ventures did get into this. They're backing this project with $2 million in funding as well. And then we have the node sale, which is the public sale where, you know, users get in on, you know, more fundraising as they buy these nodes and over time get rewarded with the actual token. Now, to give you the valuation of these different rounds, according to the research I've done, we have the seed round which was valued at around 37 million and the series a round where Hashkey and you know spartan group and all these guys got in they were valued at a 55 million dollar market cap so of course you know we're still seeing that the public round starts at tier one with a 68 million of fully diluted market cap so about 13 million dollars more than what the valuation was during the series a round it's not that crazy of course it makes sense that you know the public round is slightly higher than what all of the vcs got into the vesting schedule is obviously different so on and so forth i haven't been able to find the vesting schedule of these vcs but ultimately it just makes me realize here that you know we're not getting ripped off from these vcs and getting a crazy valuation compared to what the vcs got into so again valuation wise it does make sense but again it really comes down to your thoughts on crypto gaming your thoughts on the polygon aggregation layer whether or not moonville is going to be able to deliver these games in a reasonable time frame and of course whether or not we're going to get some adoption on this gaming ecosystem so that's the project i wanted to share with you guys again it's not a sponsored video i just wanted to share you know some light on a new projects in the crypto gaming space which is a narrative i am truly passionate about and i also am a very bullish on i do believe it's going to do well so moonville node sale is happening october 24th it is the public sale of it so of course if you want a 10 percent discount use the code selected there's a link in the description below and if you did enjoy the video smash the like button subscribe to the channel and if you want to get in to some of these projects in the earlier rounds, then definitely get into the VIP Discord. And with that said, I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace.